Mute. Mute. It's cute. And it's like, your name is pink for some reason. So it's like a cute sounding name with a cute color. Here you can. Alright. Game one, grand finals. Fab needs six. Spiro needs three. Three in a row before Fab's first three. Does it? Yeah, always. Like, I would say about 80% of the time, and we always in the basement, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it gets more than NBC? So why are we in the basement? If we get more Mancherino, why are we in the basement? Yeah. Cap Cops. Well, Nam Cops need to come back. Cap, Cap Cops versus Nam Cops. All right, game one. Both very skilled players. It's gonna be the battle of the of the wits. Spiro going with Paul. Fab's taking with Shaheen. No whiff punish. No whiff punish. Oh, there he goes. At least something. So break him. Yeah, he, <laughs> he was whiff punishing your breath. <laughs> he was whiff punishing your breathing. And like Spiro does like three things, and he just <laughs> looks at him. Doesn't even whiff punish him. Mewtwo-kin, Mewtwo-kins, you will get a response from me no matter what color you are. Oh, good strong damage from a big strong strapping man, Paul Phoenix. Alright, don't lose this round, Spira. Oh, can't just throw out strings. See? Fab knows. Oh, that should be game. That's two rounds. Round three. Fight. Spiro, Spiro is not a de Spiro is an in instinct player. Spiro does not have strategy, and Spiro is smart, but he's more of an instinctual player. He's gonna play for what's going on at the very moment. Spiro never has a plan. So, being an instinct player, his defense is not consistent. Versus Fab, who is definitely a smart player, he's gonna have consistent defense. Game one goes to Fab, pretty convincing. Can't ever count out Spirit Jin. Spiro will show himself, as he always does. Spiro the hero. There's the Eddie Gordo. Can can Shaheen get down back 2-1 from to punish Death Fist? Yeah, we have we beat out MVC by <laughs> by thirteen dollars. And they're on the mainstream. <laughs> Is there any way to see how many viewers the the, the ca infinite stream has? Jesus, this is, these people are cheap. We have two two hundred and fifty two viewers. They have over a thousand and less money. This, see, Capcom. See, that's what I mean. Capcom players don't have jobs. <laughs> I know. They they don't have jobs nor are they do they support their own community. Oh, the realist, what's up man? I really wanted to see you in top eight in Denver. I'm sad that I didn't get to see you play. Or at least on stream. Oh, that is it for a Four point seven K. 4.7k watching infinite. These people are cheap, man. It's because Capcom players don't have jobs, man. I'm telling you, Tekken players have to take showers, have girlfriends, and have jobs. Realist knows very much about this conversation. 
He's a firm believer of Tekken players having jobs and lives. Oh, Will, we have to talk soon, man. I gotta, I gotta tell you about it. I got a new job. Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, but it's a much better situation than my last job. Yes, sir. We will definitely speak. Okay, Fab. Fab is kind of smack and Spiro, and that's okay for now. They were shit talking each other earlier about how Fab consistently beats Spiro. There might be some truth to this. Whoa, that was interesting. Jump behind him, but the relaxed low sweep them back into position. Let's see, Spiro needs to be on the board. That is unsafe. Very slow end of this round. Three seconds left. Oh, close. Fab one game away from resetting the bracket. Yeah, um, I'll text you definitely when I'm out of work and when I can talk, so we can uh, we can catch up. I like how you said careful, and he was anything but. He said, "Let me actually throw myself wildly at a bunch of cables." It's all right, Will. You are not one to be shaken. You will persevere, 100%. And I hope to see you in New York soon, man. I came to Dallas to see you guys. You better come here to see us, man. All right, game three, Fab versus Spiro. Fab with some really good momentum. Winning the first two games pretty convincingly. Can't ever count out Spiro, though. Orbital, pop kick, oh, it's so lame. Oh, not, didn't punish. Oh, mix out of the air. The whole con, the whole concept of doing what you love, is, is a, it's not a dream, but it's not ideal. If you have the money. To, to do what you want, to do what you love, then of course that makes sense. But, like for example, New Yorkers can't live off of a, of a gaming salary. Like I think like a higher paying, a higher paying like annual salary for like league players is like maybe 40, 50 k, which is pretty good. But you can't live by yourself off of that. And even if you're not winning, you're only living off of that current sal uh, yearly salary. That's not enough. That's not enough. If you want to live in like some small town where you pay like $150 a month for rent, then that's different. Alright, Spiro on the board. Spiro dancing. That's jab punishable, Spiro. It's interesting that Fab would duck for that. Knowing the option, the low hurts because it guarantees that relaxed launcher. Get off of me. Spiro, one of the best throw breakers in the game. These guys are really dragging us out. This is three, two, one. 
Spiro always keeping a third eye on the clock. Spiro one round away from putting himself on the board. Yeah, when when I, I went to I went to visit Realist uh, a couple months ago, uh, Realist and Spiro, when they lived in, when Spiro lived in Dallas and uh, Will still lives there now. Will told me like his apartment, how much he paid, and it was it made me sad. It made me so sad because what I pay to live in Manhattan is a, an obscene amount, an obscene amount for the the space that I have. It's a typical like Manhattan apartment. So it's like space for what you need and that's it. No space for fun stuff. Serial turning it out. Another round going into the single digit timers. Just stay on the floor. Oh, let's keep it let's keep it simple. Keep it simple. Ooh, with the pop off. Fab looking unfazed. In fact, with a disgusted look on his face. Spiro Jin putting himself on the board with one game. Uh, it's 2-1 Fab. Yeah, 2150s, that's cheap. That's cheap for rent. That is cheap. For or depend on depending where in New York City does he live? Because there are studio apartments in Manhattan that can go for three to four thousand dollars, depending on the neighborhood. Studio. That means it's maybe just like one room, like space in the kitchen for a hot plate, and then like a corner with a toilet. Yeah, Brooklyn. Brooklyn is actually classified as the most. I don't know how how accurate this is, but I read it in an article. Like uh, last year, that Brooklyn is now the most expensive place to live in the country, in all of the U.S. A uh, three hundred dollars a month, Jesus Christ, man, that just makes me sad. Multiply that by at least eight, eight to nine. That's what I pay. <laughs> I don't want to move to Brooklyn. There's too many hipsters there. Too many people with dreads that don't need dreads. And they smell funny. And they eat weird food. All right, back to commentary for a second. Squirrel lost his momentum from his third game win. Uh, back in the lead with the rounds. That's launch punishable, Squirrel. It's a, it's a tough move to launch punish because it's so fast. Ooh, that is a hit. And that is death for Spirit. Fab one round away from resetting the bracket. No block punish on the hop kick. Spiro probably thinking of his options. Trying not to go through a bracket reset. Oh, trade. I love the counter hit trades in this game. This game, unlike any other, is the first game that made trades both counter hits for both players. Other games, it was just a normal hit that smacked each other away. This game is a, both trades are now counter hit. Uh, Northern Manhattan is not so bad. Like, it's uh the prices there are, are manageable. Oh, counter hit, slide. Uh, Midtown, Midtown is livable depending on if you go further west. Stay uh, obviously upper, upper and upper east and west side are rich people places. Financial district, rich people places. Oh! Oh! 
missed it by an inch. Back 3-3 three, three delayed. Just do it, Spiro. Why not? What do you have to lose except a round? Spiro mixing up his offense now. I thought that was... Is that not natural? That relaxed 1-4? I thought it was natural this whole time. Spiro fighting. Fighting to not have this bracket reset on him. Oh, wow. And of course, with the fab combos. Fab combos for life. Fab combos for life. Fab. That's it. That's all you, you had mad time to do that. That no, it's tied up now. It's two two. Spiro won that last one, yeah. Hashtag fab combos. They're so bad. I hate losing to him because his combos are so bad. I don't know how he survives. Except with Steve. Like his combos with Steve are good. Everyone else is really bad. Alright. Potentially last game for Fab. If he loses this, Spiro has momentum with two games in a row. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry. If Spiro wins, it is uh, potentially... Hey, this is like my second time ever in my life commentating. I'm being, I'm, I'm being, I'm confused with all the data. I'm trying to ac be accurate and somewhat entertaining at the same time. Wall break, Falcon break. That doesn't work, Fab. No. Fab shouldn't pick Miguel. Like his Miguel was cool, but not for this game. It worked well in the other game. I, I don't think he's, his Miguel is that great in this game. And I'm not saying that because I'm a Miguel player. I'm just saying that because I love, I like his, I like Fab Steve. Oh, Fab playing really clean in this game. Trying to get the reset. One round away from the reset. He was in this position before, and Spiro turned it around. Oh, that low is so good. Oh, that low is so good. It makes such a crunchy sound when it hits. Oh, th Mofino, thank you. I, that means a lot to me. I, I really appreciate you saying that. I, it's hard to convey tone over text, but if you're being honest, I really appreciate that. Very nice of you to say. Hero with the rage drive. Oh, that is a block. That There's no way that hit. There we go. This is the same position Fab was in before. Up two rounds, and then Spiro wins the third. Let's see if... Spiro can keep it going the same way. Spiro will not let this go if he shuts down Fab here. Because Fab was talking about shit. Oh, good block, good punish, good damage. Oh, that is a hit. Boom, 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 boom. Stalin on him. Even that, even not the health, just a little bit. It's not over yet. Yeah, now it's over. And that is a reset for Fadbus. Oh, Fernando! Listen, Fernando. I saw Fernando on the train, Dave. I saw Fernando on the train. It's hard not to spot like a seven foot, seven foot, seven hundred pound. Person wearing a big purple shirt that says FedEx. <laughs> he didn't wait for the doors to open, he just kicked through it. 
And of course he was wearing Tim's. I appreciate the support, guys. I know the people that know me are going to shit on me, like Bloodhawk and Fernando. But I appreciate it. Seven hundred pounds. That's exactly how much Fernando weighs. And five hundred of those pounds are his Tims. All right, reset the bracket. Bracket has been reset. Let's start this all over again. Mishima, Mishima building with these machines that really are unnecessary. We don't need all of these crazy hooks and levers. To uh, yeah, this is NYC Perfect. Round one goes to Fab. This might be Fab's game. It was a close set, the first set, but who knows? Fab doesn't do anything. I, so I don't understand how he gets rounds. He has to have a strong. He does. That's his best punish for back three three, uh, Shaheen. I know. <laughs> I know it's Fab. I'm just trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Don't boom that. Spiritin, tying it up. I'm enjoying this set. It's actually really close. Dancing a little bit, dancing, dancing. First 15 seconds, wasted, doing nothing. Feeling each other out. Boom, boom, ball damage. Down four. Such a good move. It annoys me how good that moves. Oh, caught him looking. That guaranteed low, unbuffered damage. Free, guaranteed. Down for two. Uh, Eddie's down for two safer in this game. Another game. The six, he's dead. There's no way. Yep. These guys are really stretching these rounds out. A lot of rounds going down to single digit time. These guys are people, both players, really good players that have played each other enough times to not rush in to do something stupid. Nice audible combo. Spiro just one round away from taking the first lead in this set. That, that peaceful relax. Another relax. Oh! Oh, I did, that looked like an input error. Throw break regardless. Spiro looking strong. Nice. That's the first time Spiro takes the lead. Yeah, that's true. Is Fab not sponsored anymore? He what? Uh, first game went to Spiro. Spiro, first game. Oh, that's what happened. That sucks. See, further cementing my my anti anti ways on uh, sponsorship. I'm full of shit. If I get approached, I'd probably take it. Alright, game two. Virgin taking the lead. Let's see if we keep the momentum going. Perhaps sticking with Shaheen. Probably gonna stick with Shaheen the rest of the set. 
I don't foresee him picking somebody else. Actually, three off axes. Such a funky looking launcher. Good punish. Oh, caught him looking. Oh, that is a hit. Boom, boom, and that's death. Corn pops. <laughs> oh, I hope Cup of Noodles starts sponsoring people. I would love to be Cup of Noodles liquid. That'd be tight. Cereal has always been expensive. Like certain certain cereals, like the small uh, fruity pebbles or cocoa pebbles, it was like five bucks for like the smallest box. But like the industrial size Cheerios was like thirty cents. I want to be sponsored by a food. That's what I want. Cup of noodles, uh, IHOP. I would love to be sponsored by IHOP. Free pancakes for life. What? They don't even have to pay me. Just give me free pancakes. That's all I want. No, Honey Bunches of Oats is not the best. That is probably one of the most... Not a low tier. That's like mid-low. Mid-low tier cereal. I would eat it, but it's not... I don't know what you're talking about. Corn Pops is better than Honey Bunches of Oats. Fruity Pebbles. I'm going to have to say Fruity Pebbles over Cocoa Pebbles. And Cocoa Pebbles over Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs are for savages. What was that? Cookie Crisp. No. Cookie Crisp. You know what? Cookie Crisp is like a once a month kind of cereal. I can't have that more than once a, more than once a month. No. It takes a while for Cookie Crisp. Cookie Crisp takes a while to get like soggy, soggy. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm, I'm still watching the game. It does. It takes a while for it to get... It stays crunchy for a while. No. Mute, Mutikins, how are you going to turn on me like that? Fab tying the game. This is a close set. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Have I ever cuddled a fat girl? Um, no, maybe close. I'll, I'll cuddle a I'll cuddle a big girl for some fruity pebbles though. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, yes, yes. Level ninety nine Charmander, yes, yes, and yes. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is S plus plus tier. What? What? Yeah, but it's. Oh, no. If we're talking about mixing cereals, that's a whole nother realm. Mixing cereals, there are combinations of cereals that I don't even think made sense that were so incredible. Like, you really can't even compare. Lucky Charms, Lucky Charms, Cocoa Pebbles. Try that. Try it. Yes. And it's amazing because no chocolate lucky charms does not exist. No, raisin brand is godlike. Raisin brand is a yes, yes. Raisin brand is a yeah. <laughs> other exalted is saying other cereals <laughs> worship raisin brand. They bow and they pray to the to the lords of raisin brand. Raisin brand is is if you don't like raisin brand, you have no palate. You don't you don't know anything about food, you don't know anything about taste. It's And it's great in fiber. And it's great in fiber. Oh, that's a fun side throw.
Raisin Bran Crunch is like okay. So if if Raisin Bran is a god, um, Raisin Bran Crunch is like its minion, but it's it's still the minion to a god. It's still the, it's still a god's minion, so it's still really good. It's a what? It's a demigod. Yes, it's a demigod. It's the it's the Achilles of cereals. No, you should smack your boyfriend then because he knows nothing about cereal. Raisin Bran. You, you should leave. You should smack him. You should smack him and then leave him. No, okay. You know, okay. No, I'm going to tell you guys. I'm going to tell you guys what cereal. Dave, I'm going to tell you guys the most amazing cereal that I've ever had in my life that doesn't exist anymore. Or rather, I can't find it anywhere in New York. Rice Krispies Treats. Rice Krispies Treats cereal. Frankie Berry's was a good one. But Rice Krispies Treats cereal was incredible. Oh, and you know what the most disgusting cereal I've ever had? Oreo O's. It's disgusting. And I love Oreos. Oreo O's. Disgusting. Trash. That's like minus D plus tier. It's such garbage. Level 99 Charmander, I bet your boyfriend likes Oreo O's. If he does, then you not you need to leave him right now. It's that's unacceptable behavior. And I will not tolerate it. Alright, no more cereal. What is that? Uh, <laughs> Where's more than before? We lost three <laughs> three viewers. Oh, really? Oh, that's it. All right, back to the game for now. I'll come back to you, to savages, with the cereal. This is too close. This is too close of a game. You know what it is? I'm gonna call Spiro Gen Team Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and I'm gonna call Fab Team uh, Lucky Charms. I don't even know how we got into the discussion of cereal, but I will I will debate that debate. I will debate the debate. Let's see if Spiro can not lose this game. If Fab takes the lead, that's that's gonna be bad news for Spiro because Spiro's already struggling to stay ahead. Good punish. Uh, it looks like that might be it for Spiro. Yep. Fab one game away from bringing us all around back from losers. That's true. Oh, that's right. I did say I wanted to be sp uh, sponsored by a food. Grape, not cereal. If you like gravel. <laughs> What's wrong with liking gravel? I put some, you know, put some chocolate syrup and some uh, milk on some gravel. All right, game four. Yeah, no, I'm having fun. I'm having commentating. No one has said only, only uh, the game, only Fernando and Steve have said I'm doing a terrible job. <laughs> Everyone else is like, you're doing great. And of course they're gonna shit talk me. They can't they can't be nice to me. Yeah, it's it's supposed to happen. Alright, game four, even health, hop kick, why not? Really no reason not to do it. Low risk high reward. Good punish. Oh the wall kinda saved them. Good punish. Down on one. one. Oh, snuffed out of the rage drive. Let's see, mix up. He's got the frames. <laughs> Fernando said I got muted for hating on Oreo O's. Of course Fernando likes Oreo O's. Someone like Fernando would love Oreo O's. Of course. Of course. It all makes sense. It all makes sense. All right. <laughs> Game four. A really strong round by Spiro right now. Spiro's like, I'm not having it. 
That's a great uh, power crush. I wish it was used more. Um, no, he has to have a... Most people... Don't characters have two minimum, at least? All right, two rounds straight. Looking to tie it up. No, I love actual Oreos. Actual Oreos are an amazing cookie. It's like for that's like an an adult cookie. That's not for kids. Kids screw kids. They can have their other cookies. Oreos are for adults. I'm not hating on Oreos. It's just Oreo O's. It's like sacrilege against actual Oreos. No one ducks that, and that makes me sad. It is mid high, and it does not jail. Duck it. There is no mix up. Duck it and launch it, please. There's nothing else you can do. There, here we go. Here goes the clock. Running low. Good punish. Six seconds left. Oh, that's his Spiros. Good job. Tying it up. Last game. This set is in way too close. <laughs> Apple Jacks is trash. Apple Jacks is garbage. Absolute crap. Apple Jacks is like nauseatingly bad. Don't dot dot dot, Fernando. You, of course, you like Oreo O's and Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks is trash. Is I would I wouldn't I wouldn't want to get paid to eat Apple Jacks. Watch Apple Jacks want to sponsor me one day. Apple Jacks Liquid. Last game. This is way too close. This is uncomfortably close. We got a helicopter hovering in the background for really no reason. And then he just starts spinning for no reason. Like, why do the developers program that? That just doesn't make any sense. All right, even, even health. Even rounds. These guys are pretty evenly matched today. Barrel with his back against the wall. In rage. Here comes a rage. Oh, no. No rage drive. Just death. Round two. Fight. Boom. No, that's launch punishable, my friend. Oh wow, he saved it. That's the first time I've seen him do that move, that string and like, <laughs> he really saved that. And of course it hit him. Dad didn't like that. He's keeping, him, he's keeping the pressure. Oh, that was a good, good, good power push attempt. And he gets right. Oh no, it blocked. Oh wow. I thought he was reacting enough quickly from the, uh, the jab. One round away from Fab taking this. Spiro just might lose it. But again, Spiro has been in this precarious position many times in this set. And more often than not, statistically, he is taking the third round. And it looks like he might take the third round again. Oh, there it is. Ah, see? Third round always goes to Spiro. Round four. I want to at least commentate the last bit of this before I get back to use keys and run cereal. Uh oh. Already. Oh, this is bad for Spiro. This is really bad for Spiro. And I think that's going to be it. Raise drive, some actual damage. Wow, and that's it. That was a fantastic set. Fantastic set. Really good showing by these guys. What's up? That was a really good set. That was a really good set. Um, once again, Liquid on commentary. Thank you guys for being patient with me. Um, with my commentary. 
tried to be as attentive as I possibly could. I guess we're being patient. There's Spiro Jen with the blue book bag. Fab in the back counting his, his guap. Counting his weekly earnings. All right, I'm passing it off. Have a good night, boys and girls. All right, everybody. Just want to thank all of you, 240 viewers, for joining us tonight for NLBC 89, featuring Tekken 7 and Injustice 2. Unfortunately, uh, Injustice 2 will not be on stream tonight, so... Um, Make sure you stop by again next Wednesday for another episode of Next Level Battle Circuit here downstairs on the secondary stream. NYC Fab is your Tekken 7 winner tonight. Once again, thank you all for donating to the Macherino promo funds. Really makes a huge difference for the guys to come out each and every week for your entertainment. So once again, thank you all so very much. Have a wonderful night. Upstairs, I believe Street Fighter V is being streamed, so go ahead.